Okay, welcome, welcome once again. In this video, we are going to talk about Wim and Emacs. So, a little disclaimer here that we are not going to tell you uh, that which one is better here. Okay, so we're not going to do the comparison in terms of which one is better. So, it obviously depends upon your perspective and it depends upon your usage. Okay, so many people say, oh, Emacs is better. Many people say, oh, Wim is better. So, it really depends upon your usage. If your usage is like short, then Wim is better. If you're if you are an extensive user of editor, then Emacs is better. Okay, so but we are not gonna pinpoint that this editor is best. All right, so we are just going to provide you some sort of information that will help you decide that which editor is best for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start. So with Emacs, basically you are expected. Let me just write here Emacs. So first of all, we'll talk about Emacs. All right, and uh, we write in points. Okay, a few things. So with Emacs, uh, you are expected to have it open twenty-four by seven and live inside the program. Okay, so we we'll write here twenty-four by seven. Let me just write here twenty-four by seven and live inside the program. Okay, live inside the program. So, um, almost everything you can do can be done from there, all right? So, you write your own extensions, use it for note-taking, organization, uh, gains, programming, shell access, file access, listening to music, even web browsing, okay? So, it takes weeks and weeks till you will be happy with it, all right? And then you will learn new stuff all the time. So, you'll be annoyed when you don't have access to your Emacs and constantly uh, change your configuration okay and you won't be able to use other people emacs versions because they would have configured it according to them so it uses lisp which is great okay let me just write here it uses lisp and you can make it anything that you want it to be okay you can make it anything all right so Emacs is non model by default. Okay, so most of today's editor have uh, taken this approach. So, more powerful language for extending it Elisp is a full blown language, and in Emacs, you can practically redefine everything, while in Vim, uh, you cannot redefine built in functions of the editor. Okay, so uh, it is more extendable. So, let me just write here more extendable and excellent support for G GNU tools okay so it offers that and it offers excellent support for GNU tools all right now let's talk about Wim so with Wim, it's almost always uh, pre-installed. Uh, it's passed. You open up a file, do a quick edit, and then quit. Okay. So let me just, the first value that we can say that it is fast. Okay. And um, basically, using Wim, uh, I've told you that you can open up a file, you can do a quick edit, and then you can quit it. Uh, you can work with the basic setup if you are on someone else's machine. It's not quite so editable, but it's still far better than most text editors. Okay, so it recognizes that most of the time you are reading and editing and not typing and makes that portion faster. Okay, so sometimes you, you know, it recognizes that you are not actually going to type. So it is in the read uh, mode and you can basically simply scroll through uh, the file very easily. Okay. Um, Another thing about Wim is that it is better as simple editor. Okay, so it is better as simple editor. Okay, it's not really fancy. Um, and uh, it has fewer keys required for simple tasks, obviously. So it has more active scripting community. Uh, its internal language is Wim script. So let us write here more active scripting community more active scripting community okay 
Another thing about Quim is that it contains one central repository of scripts, plugins, and color screens, etc. So let me just write here um, if one central repository of color schemes and uh, scripts, plugins. etc so vim is extensible in python and ruby as well okay so we have shown you that how you can create it as a python editor so we have done that video we'll put the link in the description vim can be made uh, portable um, while emacs have some problems with that okay so that was basically a, a basic comparison of emacs and Wim. so again we'd say that this is not a religious debate and we're not gonna choose sides uh, so emacs is better for some people for some people Wim is better all right so if your if your work is short and you want to you want to do it fast then Wim is better if your work is long and uh, obviously you're gonna basically always you're going to be involved in your work then probably emacs is the better option but again there's a big part here and we'd say that it it all depends upon your perspective educate yourself regarding both of the editors we have given you some facts and you can you know do your own research you can find something on your own and then uh, according to your perspective and according to your use you can decide that which editor is better for you hope you have enjoyed this video hope you have learned something new for written articles you can visit our website linuxin.com and i will see you in the next video